I want to touch on how ecdysterone affects. Now, this is anecdotal, but this is based on feedback that I'm getting from my customers and from my fellow gym rats and things. I give people samples at the gym, a little tiny bottle. Try it for a few workouts. Try it for a few days. See what you think. I ran into a young person yesterday <clears throat> uh, out in the wild at the gym, and I said, "Hey, I gave you that sample. What did you did you get anything out of that?" And the guy straight up told me, "Now this guy is like 21, 22, uh, a smaller guy, but shredded, good muscles and stuff, but you know, buck 30." And uh, I thought, "Well, this will help him bulk up." He said, "I tried it. I didn't really notice anything different than another pre than any other." pre-workout so his pump wasn't as exceptional as i would have thought and then i started thinking back and you know i seem to get the older a person i give this to i've got one customer that's a little over 50 that's been extremely consistent loves it we're kind of in the same boat I've, I've got another guy that's uh, a little closer to 60 that's an ex-power lifter that's been buying it from me and he's like i just got my first pump in years so i think that the older you are, the more this is going to benefit you. But I think anybody that's in the gym and they're taking this consistently, I think you're gonna see cumulative gains. But for us older guys, I think it's especially valuable because of its blood flow and uh, vaso, uh, vasodilation. This is day five of a fast, folks, so bear with me. Uh, sharp as attack yesterday, not so much today. So we're, we're on the decline here. But the vasodilation effects, I think, are going to be much more beneficial the older you are. That said, some young people, if you've been heavy or whatever, it, you can have some cardiovascular issues that are somewhat hidden that this will actually help and protect your heart and things. Again, not making a medical claim. This is just anecdotal. And then also an interesting thing with women. So this is the feedback I've got from, from my fiance and from uh, another regular at the gym who loves this stuff. Her, uh, she sees more reps, she sees more strength, she sees more muscle growth. But what she also told me is she has to be careful because it makes her hungry. And that's what my girlfriend told me. She says, I can't, it's making me hungry. Now, the gal at the gym is a dedicated weightlifter and she's gonna, you know, she can, she can deal with that. But my girlfriend's got different goals and you know isn't a gym rat like like me so it, that's not as beneficial to her she's starting from a heavier place and working her way down you know lo most of us gym people are trying to get big and strong and it's very helpful for that <clears throat> in fact i use it while i'm fasting it's not bad for fat loss because it doesn't make me particularly hungry but two out of three women i talk to it makes them very hungry and i i see it you know man i you know when my girlfriend was taking it when this gal was you know i could see what they're talking about i get it not trying to be mean or anything, but you can tell when somebody's put on just a few pounds and I'm like, you know, if it was a guy doing that, I bet it would affect his system a little different just because of our relation to estrogen and estradiol, testosterone and so forth, you know, and estrogen ratios. This is, this is my buddy Rib. He's a 15 year old blind chihuahua that likes to bunk with me. But uh, anyways, just a few thoughts on that. I wanted to share that, uh, Ectosterone is going to be most beneficial to an older male lifter, but it'll have some good benefits for young people too. In fact, let me say this too. One of the researchers that is working overseas for one of the bigger guys that's, that sells ectosterone was in contact with me and nice young guy and you know younger than 25, very knowledgeable about medical stuff. In fact, he was he was the one that was kind of you know uh, the guy to bounce ideas off of for this bigger youtuber and supplement seller and stuff and so we were kind of comparing notes and he was getting good results in the uh downstairs department from just even the low dose ecti and i think that's due to blood flow that's due to all the things we've just talked about uh personally i've had blood pressure issues my entire life and for the last five, six, seven years, I've had to use occasionally some Cialis. Not had to, but chose to for a little insurance, right? But no more. I don't need it anymore. Uh, occasionally, I'll go take an extra dose of Ecti if I think, eh, I don't know if I'm feeling, you know, 100%. There you go. So uh, this was confirmed with a young person too. So everybody's a little different, 
but I think the effects are a little more subtle the younger you are. And if you think about it, it makes sense. We, when you're 15, you don't need HRT, right? So when you're 15, your estrogen is probably optimized as well as your testosterone and all the, so, you know, you could take a replacement dose of testosterone at 15, a replacement dose. And after the first two or three weeks, when your body adjusts to the new volumes and everything evens out, you'll stop noticing any results. You'd have to go up in your dose because you're just not deficient and it wouldn't be a big difference. Same thing here. So anyway, just a few notes. And if you're young, hey, you can still buy this. Just be aware that the effects are subtler and, and going to be more cumulative over time versus radical Oh man, my, I'm getting such a better pump. Us old guys need a little more of that. You young guys already have it. You already have lots of ni nitric oxide and stuff. This is a benefit to us that's a little more dramatic physique. Anyway, thank you guys. Keep watching, keep checking in. Thank you to the new people that are looking into this and uh, making orders and, and, and investing with this with me. Stay tuned. We've got a lot of things coming up.